First of all, our condolences and prayers go out to the loved ones lost, and those loved ones left behind. Not only innocent lives were lost, but also children's lives long before they started. Please take a moment and say a prayer to those involved. The Dorman brothers, Clayton, Hunter, and Chase, ages 7, 4, and 3, respectively, were shot and killed in their house on June 15, 2023, in Monroe Township, Ohio. The suspect's 34-year-old wife suffered injuries in the incident, as she was being held at gunpoint with the suspect's stepdaughter, but they both managed to flee safely. This is the Duerman family tragedy. Let's start, shall we? What happened? An Ohio man accused of fatally shooting his three young sons as his daughter fled screaming admitted to planning the killings and lined them up before executing them with a rifle, prosecutors said. Chad Christopher Dorman, 32, was indicted on charges of aggravated murder, kidnapping, and felonious assault in the deaths of his three sons, seven-year-old Clayton, four-year-old Hunter, and three-year-old Chase, and is being held without bail. On June 15th, police arrived at Dorman's house in Monroe Township in response to a 911 call made by his wife. Body cam footage showed Dorman sitting calmly on his stoop with a rifle next to him. I ain't gonna hurt you. I ain't gonna hurt nobody, he said as he was apprehended. After being booked into Clermont County Jail, he later allegedly confessed to killing his sons with a Marlin Model HC.22 rifle that he kept in a gun safe next to his bed. According to the bill of particulars obtained by ABC-affiliated TV station WCPO, Dorman came home from work early that day and asked his wife and boys to join him in the master bedroom for a nap. Meanwhile, his daughter watched television in the family room of the home, the document states. After lying down with his wife and sons for a bit, Dorman retrieved the rifle from the bedside safe, inserted a loaded magazine, and shot one of his sons twice, according to the document. The mother immediately tried to help the boy and yelled for her other sons to run. By this point, the sister had made her way to the master bedroom in time to witness the first shots fired, according to the document. She followed one of her brothers as he fled, screaming for him to keep running. But Dorman allegedly hunted him down and continued firing until the child was hit and fell. Dorman eventually caught up to the boy and fired again at close range, the document states. The girl then returned to the house where she picked up another brother in her arms and attempted to flee with him. Dorman allegedly intercepted them as they neared the road and brandishing the rifle, demanded she put her brother down. The dad then fired, but the rifle didn't go off, with the gun seeming to be out of ammunition, according to the document. The small boy ran to his mother, who was out in the yard, attempting to provide some aid to the boy shot outside. The quick-thinking young girl then took off toward the nearby Monroe Township Fire Department and alerted a passerby that her father was killing everyone, according to the court document. Back at the house, the mother had picked up the third boy in her arms, and Dorman allegedly bit the woman as he tried to pull the boy away from her. In the scuffle, the woman grabbed the rifle and Dorman fired it, shooting her through the thumb. The document states, She dropped the boy, and Dorman allegedly shot him once in the head. A total of nine shots were allegedly fired that day by Dorman. One boy was shot once, and the other two children were shot four times each. The daughter was the only child who came out of the situation alive. Neighbors in Monroe Township, which is about 75 miles west of Columbus, reported hearing several shots fired in what they said is usually a quiet, calm neighborhood. I was sitting in the garage and all of a sudden I heard boom, boom, and like five more, and I was like, that's seven shots, Alexis Spoonamore told WLWT-TV in Cincinnati. I'm shaking. It was a lot. It was bad. Dorman was found sitting on a stoop at the home and was taken into custody without incident. He was arraigned on three counts of aggravated murder when a prosecutor said in court that Dorman had admitted lining the boys up in the yard and shooting them. According to a neighbor, Dorman frequently lashed out at his family. He was angry every day, Richard Kincannon told WCPO. There wasn't a day he didn't yell at his wife and kids out there, the neighbor said, adding that he treated his wife like shit. The aftermath, Dorman allegedly admitted to authorities he had been thinking about murdering his son since October, the court document stated. He hadn't slept for three or four days leading up to the killings because 
The thoughts of having to kill his sons was so heavy on him, according to the paperwork. Dorman was indicted on nine counts of aggravated murder, eight counts of kidnapping, and four counts of felonious assault. Clermont County Prosecutor Mark Takulva called the killings an unspeakable tragedy, according to law and crime, and said that prosecutors would seek the death penalty. My goal is to have this man executed for slaughtering these three little boys, Takulva said. It is an incomprehensible act of horror that he perpetrated on this family. Dorman's bail has been set at $20 million. He was being held in Clermont County Jail. This is by far the most sickening, horrifying crime I have seen. I can only imagine the terror these little boys felt and experienced as their father, their protector, was murdering them, Clermont County Prosecutor Mark Takulva said, according to CBS affiliate WKRC-TV. Moving on, allow me to talk more about the innocent victims. The kids. They were a pack, seven-year-old Clayton, four-year-old Hunter, and three-year-old Chase. The Doorman boys loved being little kids together. They sometimes walked hand in hand, whether down to the water to fish or to catch a worm. They were full of giggles, and their laughter was contagious. On the baseball diamond, the oldest was a feisty left-hander, but also a team player. I was just with them less than a day before on the field, having a great time, encouraging his teammates said Dwayne Kuhn, the new Richmond Riverbats head coach. Coaches said he did that often, like when one recently struck out. The seven-year-old came up to him during the game and said, It's okay, buddy. I struck out too. It's no big deal. We all do it. And that's just the kind of kid he was, Kuhn said. New Richmond coaches said at four years old, the middle guy was a gifted t-ball player. I would often be the one throwing to him, because it's still coach pitch just the seriousness of his eyes, he would nod. I'm ready to go. Let's go, said Brandon Allen, a new Richmond Lions assistant coach. The boys' aunt said that they were beautiful and deserved to be proudly displayed. They loved fiercely and with their entire hearts, and they needed to be seen for the blessings they were and the happy lives they lived. The community has stepped up to help the boys' mother and older sister who survived the violence. People can donate through a GoFundMe site the boy's aunt organized. A family friend also organized a GoFundMe. The New Richmond Youth Sports Association is also collecting donations for the family. It is still unclear what the motivation was behind the murders. Some sources have suggested that it was done to hurt his wife, who he believed was unfaithful. But this is mere speculation, not confirmed in any way. To answer that, will he get the death sentence? Well, according to the latest news, Dorman's first court appearance was on June 16th. He pleaded not guilty at his arraignment on June 23rd. Prosecutor Mark Takulve is seeking the death penalty, but Dorman's trial is set to begin in July 2024. We hope that justice gets served properly. We do not condone any such crimes and cannot fathom enough how messed up the mindset would be that allowed a father to make such a horrifying decision to end the lives of his innocent children. As the story comes to an end, we hope you were able to gain insight into a ruthless and heartless murderer. Please click the like button and feel free to leave a comment on which part of the video made you realize life is short and to appreciate every opportunity you get. Hit the subscribe button down below to make sure you don't miss any uploads. We also look forward to your feedback in the comments section. Stay safe and happy.